Hi, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about load testing. Here are the commonly accepted performance guidelines for web applications. Anything between 100 to 300 milliseconds, the delay is perceptible, and over 40% of users will just simply abandon your site or your application if nothing happens after 3 seconds. And load testing is a good way for us to find out how well our application performs when it's under load. But one common mistake I see when teams try to load test their application is that the traffic they generate does not match the traffic in the real world. For example, suppose you have a stable web traffic that follows the bell curve because most of your users are from the same time zone. And with the load test, you want to see how the system behaves when the peak traffic is increased by say 50%. I've seen many teams execute their load tests such that the traffic would jump to the new peak very quickly and potentially run into lambda throttling because the concurrency increase was so steep that you run into throttling once you exceed the initial burst limit. While it's useful to learn about this limit, you just found an expensive and time consuming way to learn what is already explained in the AWS documentation and it's not the best use of your resources. Just remember to model the traffic pattern to make them resemble the actual traffic pattern that you expect to see. Maybe you will still ramp up a lot quicker so that you can reach your peak throughput in a shorter time to make the load test shorter and more manageable. In the same vein, you should use realistic user journeys for the test rather than just hammering individual functions because all you'll be testing in that case is AWS. For example, if you want to find out how the system behaves when a thousand new users signs up, then don't just hit the sign up endpoint and call it a day. Each load test run should sign up a new user and follow the usual steps as a new user would. If it's a social network, then you will probably find trending users and follow a few of them. Only by using realistic user journeys would you learn how your system would truly behave under load. In terms of tooling, I will briefly mention two of them. First, you have Artillery, which allows you to run load tests against HTTP as well as WebSocket endpoints. You can configure user journeys using YAML or script more complex behaviors using JavaScript. The community edition is good enough for a lot of scenarios, but to orchestrate a large load test, the pro version lets you run a distributed load test using ECS or Fargate and aggregates the reporting for you. There's also Locust, which supports distributed load testing out of the box and lets you define custom user behavior with Python. At the zone, the load testing team uses Locust to orchestrate large load tests with millions of concurrent users. And in rare cases, you might also do your own distributed load testing with Lambda quite easily, which was a use case I had while working on a real-time multiplayer mobile game a few years ago, where we had a custom reliable UDP protocol so the normal load testing tools didn't really fit our needs. And so we used Lambda to orchestrate a large number of bots fighting each other in 5 vs 5 battles to load test our system. And lastly, while we have focused on load testing the user facing APIs, you should also include any asynchronous parts of your system as part of the load test to make sure they too can handle increased load on the system overall. Often these parts of the system are included in load tests when you model the test using realistic user journeys, which touch many parts of the system as part of the load test. And you might find that while Lambda and API Gateway is able to handle the load just fine, but when the asynchronous processes take up too much Lambda concurrency, they can end up affecting the user facing APIs. And as a result, you may decide to review whether to use Kinesis instead of SNS for the background processing tasks in order to have more control over how much Lambda concurrency this task consume. And that's it for load testing. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.